VLOOKUP is one of Excel's most powerful lookup functions. If your data is organized into vertical columns, you can use the VLOOKUP function to search for a value in the first column of your data table and return a corresponding value from another column. The easiest way to understand this function is to look at an example, so let's get started. Here we have a table of data containing order information. We can use VLOOKUP to locate a product based on a particular order ID value. To get started, let's begin by entering the VLOOKUP command. As you can see, the VLOOKUP function takes four parameters. The first parameter we will enter is the value that we are trying to locate in the first column of the table. In our example, we want to search for order ID number 10251. The second parameter we will need to enter is the table or source of the data VLOOKUP will use. The range provided must include both the first column that will be searched for our first parameter value and the column containing our hopeful result. You will provide either a range of cells or a named range for this parameter. For example, we will enter the range A1 to B6. The third parameter we must enter is the position number in the table where the return value can be found. A value of 1 indicates the first column in the table, a value of 2 indicates a second column, and so on. Since we are looking for the name of a product, we will enter a 2 which represents cells B1 to B6. Finally, and most importantly, is VLOOKUP's fourth parameter. This parameter determines whether an exact match or an approximate match will be done when looking for the first parameter. A value of false means a VLOOKUP is looking for an exact match. A value of true means that an approximate or close match will be returned. Unless you have a specific reason for looking for an approximate match, you should always use false to return an exact match. Otherwise, the VLOOKUP could return some unexpected results. Now that we have entered all of VLOOKUP's parameters, Let's complete the command to examine the result. You should see the product name pairs appear. Pairs is the product name that corresponds to the order ID number 10251 that we searched for. This covers a simple example of how to use Excel's VLOOKUP function. If you would like to see more VLOOKUP examples or would like to download the sample data we used for this tutorial, please visit our website at techonthenet.com. If you found our tutorial helpful, Please leave a like on this video and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great Excel tutorials.